satanic Christmas display predictably sparks Christian outrage. So this was just like fun little news that I like. It's always, it's not always, it's probably something good if it's, if it ends with Christian outrage. But yeah. yes, yes. Just, just something after a heavy news like this, I thought that this would warm our heart. Um, <laughs> on December 20th, the Illinois State Capitol Rotunda featured a holiday art display from the Satanic Temple. The temple, a non-theistic religious group that promotes reproductive, it, it, the temple is a non-theistic religious group that promotes re reproductive rights and the separation of church and state. On the 25th, they celebrated the holiday of Sol Invictus, a celebration of, quote, the celebration of being unconquered by superstition and consistent in the pursuit of sharing knowledge. This year's celebration featured the quote-unquote satanic deity, Baphomet, depicted as a swaddled baby, similar to the Jesus in a nativity scene. The Christian community in the area was outraged hearing about the theme. Catholic Bishop Thomas John uh, Paprocki of the Diocese of Springfield stated to the State Journal, satanic displays, quote, should have no place in this capital. The Satanic Temple attempted to invite Bishop Paprocki to the unveiling of their display. However, in, the bishop refused. Lucian Graves, the co-founder of the Satanic Temple, in response to Paprocki's refusal to attend, stated, Our real message is to re-establish pluralism. It doesn't mean that people with opposing viewpoints should have to be in conflict. Where's the picture? Why, why don't we have a picture here in this article? Oh wait, I can find a picture. Give me a second. I know, but why is not why, but why is not in the article? Okay, well, I don't know. Um, I mean, we're talking about something so visual, and yet we don't have it embedded in the article. That seems like a major missed opportunity. Um, yeah, I found a picture. Is this the picture? Um, well, that you can't really see it. Wait, if you scroll down. You can see, you can oh, kind of go. see it right there. See, it's like if a little baby goat, it well, like the Baphomet was like a little baby. It's very oh, small God. though. It's so I it's would... so creepy looking. It's so creepy looking. I am, I make it so ugly. Make it pretty. I don't know. Make it epic. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm not going to... What's it supposed to be, you know, instead of baby Jesus, it's baby Baphomet. Yeah. It's just unfortunate it that you can't make a I would, goat like I you, would, I guess. I would make it a cute and cuddly little baby goat. Not like this. That's what I would do. Well, Baphomet isn't fully goat, though. It's just like the head, and then the rest is... He has okay, human but you features. could still make it... Yeah, you could still make it cute and cuddly. Yeah, <laughs> a little plushy. A little plushy like, Baphomet. Yeah, like it's a baby. What the hell is this? Like, I don't, I think like it's a Christian perspective of everything satanic to make it look ugly and, you know, dark, dark and deformed or like something like nasty, right? I've, I want the satanic temples perspective on that be, to be like, oh, all those ugly images of satanic symbols that you've seen. That's the Christian perspective of it. Look at our perspective of it. This is actually cute and pretty. So well, why would you? Like, this is like for me. This is a Christian rendering of Bath. You know, I can't even say it. Bathomet. I mean, did I say it right? right? Close enough. Close enough. Um, I think like they could say like, look, do our version of it is something sweet, nice, beautiful to look at, cuddly. Look at the fuck. What the hell is that? It's ribs. Yeah. Like this thing, it looks like it's going to die in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. Armin, I get where you're coming from, but they want Christians to be upset by this, right? That's that's what they're looking for. Yeah, because they, they be want them about it if, to realize they would be more upset how, if you show him cute. I don't know. I don't know. Because they want Christians to realize how out of place religion is in state spaces, right? And playing into the dark and traditionally satanic is one of the best ways to do so because it actually gets the reaction they're looking for. Whereas the flying spaghetti monster, I mean, it's a cute little ball of spaghetti and meatballs. Like it's not going to get, 
it's not going to um, deliver that point in the same way. I don't agree because the Christians lost their minds over the cute coloring books um, that the satanic temple was handing out in schools when they, when they allowed religion in school. Right. Mm -hmm. When they, when, when the, the case over not, uh, not allowing religion in school laws, the satanic temple is like, Oh, we're allowing religion in school. Then here's, here's some satanic coloring book. Um, mm -hmm. and it was, and Satan and everything. And it, over there was really cute. Everything was cute and cuddly and the Christians lost their mind over that, especially, especially because it was cute and cuddly because they were like, uh, they were like, you know, this is going to, it's more likely to get our children brainwashed. Like they think like, okay. So like Christians are going to look at this. They're like, when they're like, the these are Teletubbies is satanic. No, no. Okay. Listen, let me make my point. At least some Christians might look at this and be like, okay, my kids are safe. Okay. Because my kids mm -hmm. are not going to look at, my kids are going to look at this and they're, they're going to look at Santa and elves. And they're going to choose Santa and elves and the cute little baby Jesus and the nativity scene. That's what they're going to choose. My kids are not going to choose this monstrosity, obviously. Right. <laughs> so, so they're like, okay, we're safe. Right. But if, if the, if this baby was cute and cuddly, they would panic more. They're like, okay, my kids are not safe. My kids might actually like this cute little goat, whatever this thing is. They might like it. Okay. Because it's now cute. Okay. So that's why I'm thinking, like, make it cute, make it look at our black. That's the whole point that that's why our blasphemous art at atheist, like a lot of people like think like our blasphemous art should make Muhammad and Jesus look ugly and, um, you know, evil. We don't do that. We make Muhammad look really good. Right. And we make Jesus and Hindu goddesses. We, make, we, we draw them nice. Okay. We make them look nice. Anyways, that's my philosophy. Anyways. You know, it's it, it did get the reaction that they were looking for, though, because there was yeah, yeah. a um, I there was this estate senator who had the craziest response to this. So, first of all, when they were installing this, there were a bunch of onlookers who were chanting prayers and they had banners saying Satan has no rights. Be gone, Satan. <laughs> Satan mm. has no rights. Um, How and, dare you? How dare you? Satan has no rights. Wasn't Satan the first being that fought for human rights, even though he himself was not a human? Now the same humans are saying Satan, like the first human rights activist was not a human himself. The first human rights activist who tried to save humans from the bondage of, a, a, of a God. I was thinking of Lisa, it's almost said Allah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, from the bondage of God was Lucifer. Like God, Yahweh was lying to Adam and Eve saying that this fruit will kill you. And mm -hmm. it was Lucifer saying like, nope, it's going to make you as knowledge is going to make you as powerful as God himself. And look what happened. Who was yeah. right? Like it was Lucifer. So he saved the human race by, you know, from that prison named Eden, and this is the thanks it gets. Like he's fought for your rights, and now you're saying he doesn't have any rights. You, ungrateful. it's I mean, really spitting in his face. No, but right. I wanted I wanted to read this. So also in attendance okay. was Republican state senator Darren Bailey and his wife Cindy. In a Facebook post, Bailey, who is running for governor of Illinois, said, "Quote: I met with other prayer warriors at the Capitol to pray for our state." Bailey also linked the, uh, the social policy to the temple's installation. Quote, we have been, we have all been appalled by some of Springfield's ex evil and extreme legislation. But just when we thought it couldn't get worse, they are going to allow a satanic display in your rotunda at the Capitol, he wrote. So it, I just think it's so ridiculous. Well, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised the way that the GOP is going nowadays. But civil leaders should understand that they have just as much of a right to do this as any other religious group. It's insane. But there was also um, the lawyer who publicly advises which displays can be allowed to be erected. He actually wrote an op-ed about this whole situation, and he specifically declined the bishop's request to reject this application. He refused to reject it. He said, I do not want to be able to tell someone their beliefs are offensive and may not be expressed in the Capitol building, nor do I want to live in a country where government officials have such power. 
So shouts out to that lawyer. He actually wow. knows the fucking constitution. Amazing. Unlike this Maybe. senator. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. See, this is why as much as crazy politicians we have in the United States, the fact that the base layer, like there are some laws and you know, there's a constitution that has some reasonably good foundation makes it very hard, hard for these like right leaning lunatics to be able to I mean, it's not impossible, but it makes it yeah. very difficult to steer it out, out of the direction of democracy and secularism and all of that stuff. Again, I'm not saying there's no problems, but I'm just saying it's, it's a little bit more difficult. Like, it's, And it it's really good... funny because there were all yeah. these people protesting. And so and they were like, oh, you know, I'm sad that the bishop declined our invitation. But the satanic minister, he said, um, what better way to show unity than to welcome those who oppose us in the spirit of coming together this holiday season? So they're like protest of him. They're like, we're coming together this holiday season. Look, they came together. <laughs> read, Ghost read Bunny is saying things. only my religion should have freedoms. GOP. Unfortunately, yes. I don't know how anyone can be a Republican. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Um, I mean, people join the BJP, so there's that. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to highlight anything else while I get the next news? Um, let's see. People are just Satan rights matter from secular rarity, given the devil horns. I think <laughs> to end this news, we should say, Hail Satan. Hail Satan, exactly. I love how some people take us seriously when we say that. People are like, I thought you guys don't believe in Satan. Blah, 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 blah. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Hail Satan. Hail, Hail yourself. Satan. To that, I say, Hail Satan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.